from group 7 so our topic is 3d object detection using visual saliency from images so in this presentation we talk about the introduction the abstract or the project definition the technology which we are used the workflow the data set the machine learning pipeline for 3d object detection the expected outcome and the conclusion going to the next slide the first is introduction so as our topic is 3d object detection using visual science so what is 3d object detection so basically it is a technology that includes computer vision and image processing where we can recognize and determine 3d information such as volume shape size of an object now what is visual salience visual salience it is used to detect a salient object now what is salient object so uh, salient object means which makes the object or the item that immediately grab our attention as the definition says that visual salience is a distinct subjective perspectual quality which makes some items in the world stand out from their neighbors and immediately grab our attention so going to the next slide here we can see in the first picture a player is falling down in the ground so our focus goes on the player not the ground it is going only the player and the next picture there we can see there are various green lines but our attention goes only on the red one so that is visual science now in the next slide now this is abstract and the project definition so in the recent years the 3d technology become very popular it uses in various field like it is in television film industry in the metaverse the augmented reality and robotics also in the self driving car it is widely used so in this project our main focus is to detect the 3d objects around us like it can be a chair a table a cup a shoe a camera etc so now i would like to call onkit to continue the presentation thank you anno for inviting me good day sir myself ankit pande so the very first topic of my presentation part is technology used in this project so for image processing we have image we have used some packages of python like open cv media pipe which helps us to detect the 3d object and for fronted ui framework we have used stable <coughs> now the next slide the topic is workflow our application is divided into two parts first is for static image and next one is for webcam access in the first part for static image we take the image from the folder and convert convert the bgr that is blue green red image to red green blue and process it with media pipe object and then the draw of landmarks is drawn between the image now for the webcam access we access the webcam of the laptop or mobile draw the box landmarks on the image and flip the image horizontally for the selfie view display now the next topic is data set the raw data set size is 1.9 tb including videos and their annotations which are increasing day by day and the total data site size is 4.4 tb including videos record sequences and many other things this is for to provide the required schemas and tools to trace the data for example for a bike there is 476 Uh, examples of uh, frames and for frame there is 150000 of image or frames if available for book there is 2024 and for um, for frames of book there is 576000 and so on so with this i would like to end my part of presentation and would like to invite anjla for further presentation thank you thank you ankit good evening sir sir i am anjla so in the previous slide we can see the format of data set um, this data set due to popularity popularity of research into self driving cars uh, 
and that really on 3D app, uh, 3D capture sensor like uh, LID, AR, and uh, data sets. Uh, so next, uh, so in this panel we can see objectron. So what is objectron? It is a data set of short object, sh short object or video clips with uh, pose, uh, poses of annunciation. Next slide. Here we can see ML pipes for 3D object detection. So uh, ML uh, pipe is a real-time 3D object detection for every object. Uh, it detects uh, 2D images and estimates their poses uh, through a machine learning uh, a machine learning model and that trained on an object from data set. Here we build two types of uh, machine learning pipe for for our um, for predict the 3D uh, in 3D images, the one uh, one is a single stage pipeline, and a second is a two stage pipeline. Uh, now I am ending my part. My uh, rest of the PPT will continue my teammates. Thank you, sir. Good day everyone. So my name is Ruthika Rao and I'll be taking over the charge of continuing the rest of presentation. So as you can see in the slide, uh, we have used, we all know that there are two stage of pipeline, which is a two stage pipeline and the second is a single stage pipeline. And we also know that the single stage pipeline is good at detecting multiple objects, whereas two stage pipeline is good for a single dominant object. And as our project uh, is on 3D object detection. So here we have provided an image of how the two-stage pipeline uh, have worked in our project, which it has frames, it has a object detector, and it has image which a user which a user provides. Then it uh, then it creates an object 2D bounding box. Then the three point prediction happens, and after that the 2D to 3D lifting happens, and finally the object 3D bounding box has been created. Now coming to the single stage pipeline, we all know that it has encoder, decoder and in terms of single stage pipeline, it considers the save, shape, then it detects and uh, det it does the process of detection and regression and then the 2D projection happens with the help of EPNP and finally 3D bounding box is being created in terms of single stage pipeline. Now coming to the next slide. Okay, so here is the outcome of exactly how I explained that how the working is being continued even either we use two stage pipeline or a single stage pipeline. You can see in the slide that a bounding box is being created all, of, all around the object. Now coming to the next slide. Okay, so here is a overview of how our design web app looks like. Here is the 3D object detection. It's showing the heading of our project. Here is an option where you can just uh, where the when any of the user can select that whether what kind of uh, object he or she is using and can also select the number of object uh, he or she wants to detect and it also supports all kind of image formats which is PNG and JPG and one can also upload the image by dragging a file from his or her system and can check the object detection working. Now coming to the next slide. Okay, so coming to the conclusion. So in this presentation, we discussed that how we are planning to do the project, we how we did the project, what are the technologies and ML models we used, and uh, the main plan of the project to design a web application where user can easily detect or found the 3D object detection and can see the working, which makes the person easier to rely on it as well as the working as well as the using of the web app is so, so uh, in this project we are using various types of python modules like OpenCV, streamlit media pipe so streamlit basically used to uh, design a website OpenCV is used for uh, image processing and media pipe is used for machine learning uh, uh, things like it helps us to detect object here we are using it for detecting 3d objects so our main file is on the right hand side so here we build our 
full web application you can uh, uh, see that here first we select uh, how our page look like how we configure the pay, uh, website page and then we put the images where the in, in the website then we create a upload path and download path then there are uh, we uh, design the sidebar how the sidebar look like and then we uh, divide the full website into two parts you can see here first we made a uh, first column one and column two column one is used to uh, uh, use for the uh, choose which object we are looking uh, which which object we are trying to detect and the column two is for the how many objects we are trying to detect now i will show the cmd open the command. and to run the application we should write the command is simulate run and our file name is og dot py now uh, it's provide us a local host and now here is a local host came up so now this is our website look like you can see this is a column one portion and this is a column two portion here we can detect how many objects we are trying to detect in, a, in that frame and we what are the objects we are trying to detect now here we can use for image and live feed live feed means it uh, records the video from our camera and then from where there it tries to detect the object so now first we are saying uh, watching the uh, image part means a static image like we are trying to first detect a cup so we select the cup and it's uh, make the is one a number of cups in that frame is one so now going to the browse file option and now this there is a, a picture of cup then we select it and it's running and it shows the output and here we you can see that it's give us a 3d bounding box of that image okay now for another part is for the shoe part now oh, okay one minute so first we can select the option shoe then we go to the shoe part and now i am finding the shoe uh, here is a shoe now you can see it also detects the shoe now it's for camera now we can think that uh, if there is a lots of object now here we can see there is an image that combine uh, combination of camera and car so now we can take it and here we can see it's only detect the camera not the car because we are only detecting the camera that's why it's only detect the camera not the car so that's all okay but uh, can i can i select two items the camera and car both can be selected uh, no of... we are trying to implement it only for a single item okay. not the okay. two okay but single item my issue at least one image so that multiple Items can be selected. Say five cups or three cups. So okay, 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 okay. Let's take a chair. Let's take a chair. Okay. Now we go there. And first we set it as a one. Only detect one object. So here you can see there is three chairs. Okay. We took it. One minute. There is a runtime issue. One. Now the local host come. Now here we can start for multiple of the like first we take the chair and we said that we should get only one chair. Now going to the part and here are three chairs. So we took the first chair. It shows the three all the chairs. Right. Okay. Good. It's detailed. All can the chairs in the frame. Online, last, uh, last presentation, you 
show that you can online from your camera you can show these things can you can you show it something like that okay not of a story now in my hand i have only a cup so going for the live it now i start the webcam okay here you can see that it's trying to detect the car because my hardware is little low in configuration okay. that's why it's no, taking good. time you can see it is only detect the cup okay, okay. can you arrange this more because uh, 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 in the recent days everyone trying uh, 3d object detection means everyone is trying to detect the self uh, doing this project for self driving car okay uh, not uh, now here we are trying to detect the objects around us okay very good